Allie, let me ask you a question. Yeah, fire away, dude. What? Fire away, dude. Oh. <laughs> yes or no? Finding the right hair color for you, Allie, yeah. can be a challenge. Uh, what color is my hair right now? Burgundy. Yeah. Was that on purpose? No. Did I need to use e salon? Yes, you did. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can scratch oh. that. No, it's miss- great. E salon offers professional grade. <laughs> Leave that in. <laughs> completely personalized hair color that's created just for you and delivered right to your door. Allie, you fucking need this. I need it so much. This is the last time I will color my hair without taking the steps to get the right color. I grabbed a color off the shelf. It was the wrong color. My hair is maroon now. Don't do it. Allie, do you love questionnaires? Yes. Here's a hair questionnaire. Upload your photo and a personal colorist will formulate your individually blended color from over 15 thousand pigments oh my god i know i need e-salon in a time machine to go back to yesterday (laughs) totally well they've got you covered there's a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed if you're not happy ally oh god i need with your color it will give you a free reformulation or refund i think anything's better than what i did to myself before you look cute thanks dude but you know what? I like that the color doesn't fade. Like they have the grays covered. Because we get, I get some grays every once in a while. I mean, at 23 years old, I our know. gray is like pretending to start to come in. I know. It's probably because we're such big thinkers. We're so young. So you can visit esalon.com slash slumber party, all one word. And do that. You get 50% off your first order. So that's 10 bucks for your personalized hair color, which is crazy. Because the last time I got my hair colored in a salon, it was like $180. Dude, you can do it your freaking self. I've been doing it my freaking self for years and years. Yeah, I just, I really got the wrong color. So I need to use eSalon. You get 50% off your first box at eSalon.com slash slumber party. So go do that. Don't don't be an Allie Ward. Send us photos too. Hashtag it at, I don't know, Allie in Georgia. Let's see your hair. Yeah, just tag us in it on Instagram. Let's see your pictures. Let's do it. I want to look at your hair. Bye. Listen, you shouldn't have to stretch your budget to buy jeans with a little give. High-end denim can cost hundreds of dollars, but bargain brands don't offer the same level of style and comfort. Yeah. You got you can't get some jeans that cost you hundreds of dollars and no. like have to do a juice cleanse to get into them. <laughs> totally. So Distilled, spelled D-S-T-L-D, they've revolutionized the fashion industry with their timeless luxury grade denim. So you get jeans that would normally cost you hundreds starting at just 65 bucks. Yeah. They eliminate these crazy markups because they refuse to work with middlemen. Refuse. They ship directly to you for free and guarantee the fit or they'll send you a new pair until they're perfect. Distilled jeans are built to last and will be a staple in your closet for years. They also have a bunch of fall jackets so if you're like into a classic denim or you want like a bomber jacket you can just expect the same level of quality okay and so for a discount go to dstld.com slash feral and you'll get ten dollars off your first order that's dstl wait d.com slash feral for ten dollars off bye thanks bye hey georgia hey ali what did you learn this week well i learned that what you tell me (laughs) I learned. I went on AdamEve.com and I started looking at things that there's a bikini made of pearls. <laughs> it looks are they looks, edible? No, but it looks kind kind of uncomfortable, but very intriguing. Well, guys, that's fine. But where would I get my dick molded? <laughs> well, Matt, it's funny you ask because, because you can get your dick molded at AdamEve.com and you can get a discount if you put in the code Slumber. Slumber? Here's oh, cool. is that some kind of like I'm gonna murder you thing? Yeah, in your slumber. Oh. Oh. They also have other things like condoms. You guys should wear condoms. Like, oh. not even when you're having sex, just constantly. Just wear yeah, Just, just wear always have condoms. You know Adam, you've done guys. <laughs> use the um, code SLUMBER. Do it. Oh, also, if you use the code SLUMBER, they send you three adult CBDs. They're adulty. Have you guys ever bought porn? Like, uh, gone into a store and yes, purchased a video? Yes, I've rented. You've rented porn But this is like in the Was 90s. Was this in a couple situation? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. have you ever done it on your own? No, I'm a female. Yeah, yeah I know Just you're look a female. Look in the mirror. Yeah, no. it's probably... Look in the mirror. What? <laughs> look in the mirror. Mirror. Get it? AdamEve.com. Yeah, AdamEve.com. Hey, it's Slumber Party with Allie and Georgia. New with an announcer. With Georgia announcing. Guess what we're doing? We're doing this at night in a 
like at real night, not at 11 a.m. when we pretend it's a slumber party. There's a fake lantern lit up. We're in a dark room in a teepee with a lantern lit. That lantern is 100% real, BT dubs. And this cheap, shitty scarf over it. I know. We're, here's the scene. I'm Allie. I'm Georgia. And we are hosting Slumber Party with Allie and Georgia. And every week we get in a pillow fort or a teepee or a situation. In our pajamas. In our pajamas. <laughs> and we have a guest on. And we just have bullshit. Okay. We talk bullshit. We start with, what did you learn this week? Hey, Allie, what yes. did you learn this week? Well, I learned so much stuff. I'm going to give you two things. Why? Okay. Just okay. because one of them is really cool. Okay. Um, I learned that coyote fur is hella soft. Coyote fur? Oh, because you held a dead yeah, coyote. Yeah, I held a dead coyote on Wednesday, and it's so soft. Like, you want to you wanna roll on some E on the molly that the kids do <laughs> and just get up in it. You're like, I make, when I see a coyote now, I'm like, I want to touch it. But the other thing I learned is I learned how to tell the gender of a praying mantis. You, how? You have to count its butt. <laughs> you count its butt. It's like one, two, three, four. It like shakes its butt. And yeah, it drops it like it's hot, yeah. and then it um, and then it eats its mate's head. It, oh. No, you have to count. You got a praying mantis. I got a praying mantis as a gift for my birthday because I don't have any pets and I can't have dogs in my apartment. So a very good friend and kind soul gave me a uh, a praying mantis that's alive. But you, it's almost like it's you count its butt cheeks because it has different segments. Like a man praying mantis has eight butt cheeks, and a female has six. Butt, butt cheeks, cheeks are like. Like abdominal, like, like abdominal segments. But let's just say, for the sake of something okay. like, what if you're like, I don't know. There's this person I want to date, but I don't know if they're a girl or boy, and I, they have three butt cheeks, so they're a boy. It's that a means I can okay. date them. Okay. It's kind of like that. But so I counted it, and it's a girl, and her name is Mirabelle. What'd you learn? Wow, I learned. Okay, like the heart symbol. The heart symbol is for love. Right? Speaking of butts, speaking of butt, the symbol of a heart. Yeah, it looks nothing like an actual heart. No, where did that come from? I thought it came from butts. No. Oh. It came from this seed called sylphium. Ooh. It's a relative of the fennel seed. Shut up. And it actually has in on its like fern or whatever, mm -hmm. it's in the shape of a heart. And it was a aphrodisiac. Damn. It was like a boner pill. I was back then anything that didn't kill you was an aphrodisiac. Probably. It's like if you don't drop dead from eating this plant, you should fuck something because that's a celebration. Probably. Uh, Sixth and fifth century BCE bear this uh, coins bear the sign of this of this uh, fiddle fern this fiddle fern situation, and it was used <laughs> it was used in like spicing things. It was very popular. It was it's like considered as like uh, what's the um, an aphrodisiac like a Viagra? Yeah, but no, what's the um, the spice that people use? That's orange. That costs a lot of money. Saffron. Saffron. So it was like expensive. Yeah. So like it had a shape of a heart in it. So people started and it was an aphrodisiac. So people started using that as a symbol of love as a heart. Well, you know, money is an aphrodisiac. So there well, you go. It's not the heart symbol. I thought that the heart symbol came from the shape of balls or a butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ally Ward, ladies and gentlemen. Who doesn't like butt doesn't balls? Does that make sense though? Like the heart symbol comes from something that was used. Was used in that aphrodisiac. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the fact that it was expensive too. It was like, damn. Yeah, it was like, a, and but it's extinct now, but it's closely, like, you know, if you were to eat something that's simple, similar, it would be the fennel seed. That's really adorable. That's interesting. How'd you learn that? I, was, I scoured the internet for what the fuck did I learn this week? Because really? Today, yeah, because I could never remember what I learned this week. Well, let's ask our guest when I learned. Yeah, let's ask our guest. We have in the TV right now, Matt... Myra, who we like to call Matt Mira, and then get corrected <laughs> after we mention how we'll mention we talked about you on one of our podcasts. You weren't here, yeah. and then you had to be like, "Yeah, I listen to your podcast." P.S. That's not my name. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments, but that's not my name. He's like a comedian, a writer, a podcaster, yeah, a friend of I do it all. Georgia. He write he's writing on At Midnight right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check it out. And while you, you can. It's online. You have a co podcast that we were on. Yeah, James Bonding. Sorry about that. You guys did the Goldfinger episode. God, everyone hated it. And got some vitriol. Your fans hated us. And yeah. some love. We can talk some... about that later. Let's yeah. talk right, about what sure. we learned. Okay, what'd you learn this week? Uh, I learned yeah. from an astronaut. What? Oh my God. Chris Hadfield. Mm -hmm. Canadian astronaut. Don't know him. So already two awesome things mm -hmm. Canadian, Canadians have astronauts? And an astronaut. Yeah. Yes. He was on the space station for 166 days. Fuck Ugh. that. Five That's months. Fuck that. But yeah. what I learned from him was in zero G, you have no idea when you have to pee. <gasps> Because gravity does not push the valve down oh, no. from your bladder that says, hey, buddy, take a leak. So do you just pee or do you no, just No, you just pee? look down and see that you're distended and go, oh, I probably have to pee. What if wow. you ate space beans? Well, if you ate space beans, that's probably a problem. I would just try peeing first. Wow. Pe like, just do you pee in the bag? 
How do you pee in a bag? In in space, you yeah. pee in. Uh, uh, depends. Ladies, they you got like... It depends. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Space well, yeah, when you're in the suit, sure. Uh, but uh, you'll pee. There's uh, attachments for uh, for a lady and for a man. Pass. I'm going to pass on that one. You don't want to go to space? Is someone asking me? Because I'm going to pass. So you you're not going, going, going to space? Huh? I got this opportunity. Pass. <laughs> pass. <laughs> pass. You pop a sniper. No. Pass. Yeah. You so you're, you're what you're your saying is you go them. into space, but for three hours. Well, space doesn't exist. Everyone knows that that's just the government yeah, messing no. with us to begin with. So I'm not going to pretend to go to space and pee in a thing when really I'm just like sitting in a sound studio on, in Hollywood. We were just talking right guys? before we started rolling about how um, about how Kubrick may have had a hand in the lunar landing hmm. fabrication. Well, he didn't. But it's you don't nice. Think, okay. No, I, of course I don't think so. Do you think the, the moon landing, landing sites are still there? How do you know? Where? With telescopes. Where? Exactly where they said <laughs> Tranquility Base is where it should be. Okay, the Framoro Highlands are where they should be. That's where Apollo 13 was supposed to land, but all of the Apollo landing sites are still there. Who's got the, the telescope? Astronauts mm-hmm. put. Mm-hmm. Listen to this. The astronauts put uh, laser reflectors on the surface of the moon at a certain coordinate. <laughs> so if you're on Earth and you want to ping them with a high-powered laser. You'll get a bounce back that tells you you hit the moon. I'm just picturing them putting a laser that? pointer on the moon and like cats going not crazy. a laser pointer. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not, a refractor. But every time you look up at the moon, you're like, "What the fuck? What? What is what? it? What is it? What is it? What's that? So There's... they got there, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe it. I'll, I'll buy it. I liked I'll it for a minute that it was a big ruse because then that meant like, why do I have to pay taxes or do anything? Why That's do I have fine. to do anything? Why That's do I have to shave my? You, your it brain immediately was like, why should I pay taxes? Yeah, like just full blown apathy just was like descended on me like why should i i'm never shaving my armpits Stop again me. i'm not the lunar try. landing was I'm a never fake try again i don't give a fuck about anything you guys take things weird because yeah, i would have just we, been like, well, well we're ladies right. we take things real weird that's just <laughs> how we do we take them in every everywhere no but no, we I, don't. I think that that's pretty fascinating how did you learn this pee. Where'd you run into a Canadian peeing astronaut? Uh, I do another podcast called The Nerdist. Ooh. Wait, you do another fucking podcast like this I one? What the fuck? This one. I have three personally. Wow. <laughs> How many of them do you do in a pillow fort? So you're super lazy. I'm yeah. very lazy. I also write 12 hours a day on a show. Shit. Oh, how are you doing? Uh, you know, right now I'm a little run down. Let's talk about you. some problems. What's going on? Lots of stuff's going on. Uh, just finished, uh, we're finishing up the show this week. Uh... Girlfriend and I broke up uh, last week. What the Ooh, fuck, man? We lived together, didn't we? We still live together. Fuck, <gasps> <gasps> man! Oh my god, I just want to. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's well, nothing. Call her. It's not. Well, it's. I'll tell you. It's the. It's. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not a bad. It wasn't a bad yeah, breakup. Yeah, yeah, that's it was great. a good. We was still like each other. Was it coming down yeah, the pipe it was for a while? For a while, because I'm a. I'm. I'm what I would call a bad boyfriend. Why? Why are you a bad what does boyfriend? that mean? Because uh, you're such a nice guy. I work a lot. Okay, no, that's make you a bad boyfriend. I don't, I don't see her as often as I should. And you don't try to see her. And that's that's part of the problem. Don't you yeah. live in the same house? We sure do. How so do that not... gives you a, that gives you carte blanche to like not have to try to see her because you're going to see her when you oh, fall asleep next brain, to her, which right? Is apparently not, it's what, not how that sorry, works. You shouldn't do that. You don't do yeah, that. No, but no, if no. you are on a new show and yeah. you're, you're also young and, and have this career that's getting, big. but uh, you know, to that point, it's it's it wasn't. I I don't think it was fair to either of us. Do you? Do you sort of realized? It's not quite. Yeah. Uh, how long were you together? A uh, year and a half. Lived how long did you? So you moved in after six months. Yeah, but I knew her for a few years before that. Okay, so you trusted well, her not for... to steal your bank information. Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. That's but she did She'd have to worry about me stealing her bank information. Uh, <laughs> that you guys meet. We met at uh, the open mic I, d- I did at Meltdown. She's uh, She does stand up, too. Wow. Yeah. Six months, and then you live together? How do you feel six about that? Six months of dating, and then we live together. Uh, was it quick? Probably. But it was, was it partly quick? Yes, it was I mean, a partially on paper, quick sure. Because you were really busy and you're like, let's just do this so I don't have to keep dating for the next six months again. Like, is it? I hope not. That's just not fair to her. If that's the case, no, I, not that I think that the entire relationship was fair to her in that sense. Oh, you fucked up, man. Yeah, I really did. Did he, oh. or is it like this is just? <laughs> well, <laughs> just doing a split. I'm doing the splits right now. George is doing. George is presenting. <laughs> <laughs> I have leggings on. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Um, that? Well, that's really nice of you to say that it, uh, to issue a mea culpa in a pillow for it. Yeah, um, no, because I mean, there are a lot of guys who be like, you know what. As soon as you are in a pillow fort with guys, though, it's like, you know what? Fuck the bitch. <laughs> no, I even said, I said to her uh, today, actually, we had a quick conversation and I said, I, I have nothing 
bad to say about you. Yeah. I have no bad words for her. Oh, I can't imagine you're such a good about you too. And yeah. then she said fuck you and hung up the phone. <laughs> she said, no. I have to say if you're a bad boyfriend, you're a pretty good bad boyfriend. Yeah, yeah I'm a I'm as good a bad boyfriend as you can get. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of it. one of those things where you're like what uh, the girl has to be like, what do I need from a boyfriend? Yeah. Am I getting it from you? Right. No, am I going to Am I going to take the next year to like right. make you feel like shit about the fact that I'm not getting what I need And also, we've had this conversation a couple times, and we've tried to address it. Sure. Oh. And uh, it hasn't gone the At way some point, you have to be like, this is what I need. You can't give it, and I'm not going to drive myself crazy making Forcing it out it. of you. Right. I know, but then I get so sentimental. Like, maybe we can both meet in the middle and change ourselves you can't to change what you need, to, though. Uh, our well, detriment. Too, is I certainly, <laughs> I certainly feel like uh, I need help, for, you know. Professionally. Well, here we are. Aww. What do you need? Thanks. Guys. What can we do for you? <laughs> Let's figure out why I'm uh, emotionally unavailable. Oh, because you're a comedian. No, was that it? Yeah. Well, comedians are. Um, I mean, we don't want to talk about comedians. I feel like and a lot of us in, in our in our like uh, we're in a circle crew. Yeah, yeah are true. like we're just a different breed that that does doesn't want like a marriage and babies would be a great thing to have. As a side to what we're doing. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like our it's not the goal. Thing. Yeah. I know. You know at what least not right? Now. It's yeah. Seems, yeah, at least not now. I feel like it seems easy, even though raising it's like raising a baby. I feel like what's really having difficult. children and getting no, married seems easy. Just being like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna have a I'm gonna have a dude, he's gonna pay for half of everything. Yeah. And we're both gonna have a job we go to and then we're off at six or seven. And then yeah. there's no like, there's no like, oh God, I have to have 17 projects going. I have to but go to this thing tonight. It's stability. And like, yeah, I it's have to comfort. Hang out with guys and oh, girls and in that an you ideal, don't know. in an ideal world too. I mean, but with her particularly, what was happening very much lately was I would get home at, at you midnight, know, eight thirty. <laughs> That's not bad from my job, but she would already be out doing wow. stand up, and then she well, would get home long after hard. I slept, and then I would have to wake up at six. It's cool that she didn't give up because I feel like a lot of girls, myself included, like give up. Uh, and the couples do this where like you get together and you give up things that are important to you, like going to a fucking open mic that doesn't matter. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you stop doing shit like that because you're in a relationship. Whereas yeah. like she didn't have to go Which, to this stupid show, but she was God, like, this I'm, is my career, my life. Mm, I, I agree. That's what she should have done. Yeah. And Ugh. you didn't have to stay till 830, but well, it's, it depends well, like the do. rest of your career. You kind of have to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you can't leave a writer's room and be like, no, Peace. I know. But I'm I mean, food. Yeah, and it's an, it's an interesting spot. You guys are catching me in a very fresh situation. Like, oh, just girl. Peeling the bandaid right off. Girl. Happened on Friday. So what we're dealing with On Friday. Yeah. So what we're dealing with right now is the issue of me in denial. I'm going to lay down. And as you should. Uh, I'm so I'm in denial about the whole uh, thing. What are you in denial about? Because you maybe because you guys live in the same house. Like, yeah, yeah that's home, crazy. She'll be there. It'll be great. Oh no, that's what I feel like is happening. This is why you don't think you should live with people. I not in general, <laughs> not you, <laughs> just Matt. I oh, shouldn't nice. live with people. Dustin, Dustin just got Ali. Dustin got me a pillow. I'm laying down. Dustin, our producer. But here's the thing: I moved in with a guy in 2002. Yeah. And we had dated for about five months. And you know why I moved in with him, you guys? Why? You know why I did this? Because I got intel from someone who uh, (laughs) knew a lot about uh, what was going on after 9-11. All shifting. I know that we were that we were going to war with Iraq. And someone's like, you guys, shit's going down. We're going to to war with Iraq in the next couple months. And I was like, fuck it. Let's just move in together. (gasps) War made you move in with someone? (laughs) War in Iraq? I was like. The apocalypse is nigh. Let's just fucking get an apartment. And then I live with that guy for three years, lying in bed with my eyes open at night going, what the fuck? We have a lease. How am I going to get out of this? How am I going to get out of this? And then finally I broke, I broke the lease and, and moved out on my own. And, and it was like, oh, ah, like angel singing. And I, because of war. <laughs> yeah. But you're, you're, you're it kind a of dumbest. a, you're, you're kind of a it, fatalist. make it through the war. I know. Uh, well, true. I realized I was like, "This is a quagmire." What the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> the war, the war, had, whole, the war the whole had less situation. issues than you did. Yeah, no, the war was. Yeah, the war was easier to get out of. Probably the war than had that less was. commitment issues than you did. No, so, but I realized you can justify that, but you can justify moving in super early for so many reasons. It's cheaper. I'm always at your house. You're my yeah. house. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You live on the west side, but it's always like if you rush that shit, you end up being like the magic is gone early, and then. You're like, oh, God, I don't know. Yeah. I think until really? you until a, when though? Until you can afford a fucking dope ass apartment okay. that's an eight bedroom apartment. My apartment's pretty dope. <laughs> it's two floors. Oh no. Two bedrooms. Nice. Oh no. Townhouse. Can you give me the number to rent that from? Because apparently you're not going to be staying there. Okay. I'll stay there. Sorry. Are you, me? Are you staying there? <laughs> you want to rent the office? <laughs> yes. Oh. I don't know. 
I don't know when it's a good time to. I feel like if you maybe if you know you're gonna marry someone or something or. But living together is fun though. It is also, fun. Also, it's something you need to sort of really figure out. I think you should do it after a year you though. Can do that. Yeah, a year is a reasonable. Amount you know of time what I mean? I just think if you do it too quickly, you're like. Wah, wah. Yeah, I don't. I just sort of. It was a weird thing, and it's a weird situation too, where it's the first. It's the first adult breakup I've had. Yeah, in the sense I feel like you're of, allowed to have those. In the sense of we're both. We're both very real about why it's happening. Realistic. And it's not, yeah, and it's not, uh. It's not psychotic. It's not like, yeah, it's not like she cheated on me or something. It's not like I was a fucking dick who punched her in the head or something like that. Yeah, not, like, not like normally. It's only been yeah, since not Friday. Like normal relationships I've had where I'm constantly <laughs> punching people in the head. I knew a guy. Boys who, and girls. <laughs> I knew a guy who lived with a girl. He had an amicable breakup. He's like, yeah, I feel bad. I think it hurt her a lot. And then found out like a week or two later, she was finding her new apartment. She had a threesome in his bed and stole $15,000 in cash. He had... In the bed? Yeah, it was just yeah. right under that mattress. Fresh, he was Shack. a fresh baby. Uh, he didn't trust banks. Uh, <laughs> he it in a mattress. It was in a jar of flour. <laughs> I feel like at that point, like there's really nothing you can do about it. Like you, mar- you yeah, you press charges. Shitty. Yeah, besides you, you're saying, "Have a oh, well, yeah. Can I have my fifteen thousand dollars? I know. Though? Hey, I have a question. Nothing you can do about the threesome. Yes. I have a slumber party question for oh, you. Yeah, let's have a slumber party. Not question. this one. Oh, it's just a different. Georgia picked question. one from the pile. She did. Uh, okay, here's what a good one. That if you were to quit your life and start new, yeah. what would your new life look like from here? Not from like when you were 18 and decided where to go to college. Like, so like right now, I abandon you abandon everything, everything and yeah. walk away somewhere. Where do you, you become it? like a crabber in Maryland? What like happens? say you have fifty thousand dollars in your bank account, you can go wherever you want. Still not start enough. over. I know it's not enough. Uh, okay, but let's say I have fifty thousand okay. dollars. <laughs> I gotta get out of Los Angeles. Yeah, gotta get out of Dodge. Uh, I think I would go to Cape Cod, Ooh. and I would try to open up some sort of artisanal bakery. Oh my goodness! Would you be the baker? Or would you just be the restaurateur? I'd be the restaurateur. How do you feel you about two shits about baking? Well, no. Here's the thing: you can't do both. Wait a second. You don't eat carbs. You I was can't just effectively say, do both. You're on a no carb diet, though. <laughs> yeah. So that's how badly you Guys, should be I've eating carbs. I lost 55 pounds since I my know. birthday. Oh, when was I'm your birthday? Wearing slim fit pants from the Gap. I don't know if you can see that. Happy birthday! When so was your birthday? You also look strange with like Ringo Starr on your birthday on yeah, your yeah, T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, you were out of town for their for his birthday. No, you were there. We Ellie wasn't know. there. Oh, yes, yeah. Ellie was, there. was there. there. Thanks, guys. There's Thanks a picture of us on too. Facebook of you yeah. and I. I'm glad that we all enjoyed my presence there. <laughs> I, I truly did. <laughs> it was a daytime oh, party. Oh, I'll take Dustin that Dustin is bringing everyone pillows. I We're also all appreciate down. that Ellie's a girl that has a bunch of weird pillows. I do have a bunch yeah, of They're all different shapes, different designs. Um, When you're laying on the floor in a teepee. Kitschy. It's fucking kitschy. But yeah, no, so I'd open up a... I feel like I could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan's great. I go to trainer now, guys. It's great. Does the bakery have sandwiches and soups? The bakery just, uh, has a uh, has a kaimosh on paninis because I hate them. Okay. No mm. paninis. What about sand? Can we call sandwiches Sammy's? Sammy's? Sammies? Sammies? Whatever. Yeah. Rachel will be there. Uh, are they are they rustic homey goods or are they like kind of like highfalutin sophisticated French, shit. French pastry? No, you know it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a lot like short. Uh, shortcake. Short oh, oh shortcake. Short, ca- short orders yeah. version of Ugh, you know, a bakery. A bakery it's going to be business. a lot like that. You know? I might That's even great. steal their recipe for the almond uh, scone. If anyone knows uh, Hori the baker at short. Cake, cake. Let her know. Yeah, go that. into um, the farmers market <laughs> on Fairfax and Third, and go to Shortcake and order everything. Chances yeah. are you'll see me staring at it. Oh, it's so good. Taking notes like a creep. <laughs> 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 I want this. Okay, I have another question. Speaking yes. of this kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. what is your secret secret? Like when your girlfriend moves out, yeah. like midnight snack that nobody knows about. That like in the middle of the night. You like eat it in with the fridge open. Oh, like my saddest moments. Not sad, like just, just indulgence. Like a, well, hang on a second. Is it? What's my situation here? Do I care about whatever caloric <sighs> intake is, or no, what? No, you don't it? give a fuck about it. Let's say you're in a slumber carbs. party situation. Yeah. You're among. Friends. You're not blowing it. It's not like lard from the tub. It's like this is like your happy indulgence. This is oh, like the see, fuck it. You worked a the, long day. Let's right. pretend. Let's okay, do different let's levels. Let's pretend I'm not. Let's pretend I'm not worried about what I'm okay. eating. Okay. Okay. Uh, my, uh, gross snack is going to be, uh, the <laughs> Fritos, uh, cheese, the, you know, the Fritos cheese. Oh, can it's sure. Canned, the can. It's like Fritos cat food cheese. and you, oh, exactly. for sure. Uh, warmed up. 
Ooh. With the Frito scoops. Oh, damn, scoops. Dog. That's just nothing else. I love Fritos so much. Fritos, chili cheese I Fritos. Love them so much. Oh, fuck you, chili cheese Fritos. I will eat that. Oh yeah, God, do you like nice. flavored Fritos or do you go for OG? No, just regular Fritos. See, I, I, I yeah. love that, There's but I want about something Fritos more. It's so great. Like when you look at the bag and it says that there are three ingredients in it yep. corn, oil, and salt, it makes you go, this isn't that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Have you ever crunched Fritos up and put them on stuff? Yeah, of course. Frito pie, you guys? Frito fucking pie. Frito man. pie's great. Frito pie's great. If you go to, uh, who has it? Ground Control in Portland. Shit. You, uh, they'll serve it to you in a Frito bag. Yeah. It's they great. rip it open. I have a question. Eat it out of the bag. Yeah. yeah. I have a question. Yes. And I don't know if this is branding or if it's synesthesia. Do you know what synesthesia is? Synesthesia is like a weird thing where numbers have personalities or colors. Sounds sure. have so taste. Sure, so like when I see yeah. a nine, it's a red. It's, it's a basically red like. Do you have that? Yeah. Oh, you have synesthesia. Yeah. Oh my does, god, yeah. that's exciting! You I'm know, glad you we, have a name a of, to it. That's what it's 27's called. Twenty seven's green, by that's the way. Actually, yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh shit! The shit, two dog. of you. This is um. That's so okay. Like, Allie's like Rain Man because she could be like, oh, the day we met was like green and red, so it's this. Like she knows the fucking date, and you're do like, you, I don't, I wasn't there. Uh, do all numbers have colors to you, or only certain ones? Like, do prime? Pri- I feel like primes are um. Yeah, primes I, have a different personality. I, well, yeah, I feel like it's it's yeah numbers. It might just be in my head now. Six three. If you were to ask two's me the person, two's yellow, yeah. two's no, one's two's white. red, one's white, one's me. white too, yeah. one's totally white, yeah. um, two's red, yeah. three is green, four is yellow, five's always red, four's yellow, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. Does yeah. this, Georgia? Does this make any sense to you? No. <laughs> See, like, None. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a funny joke about blue. Cause like, don't worry about it. But it's not yeah, there. It'll come to you. You're fine. 19's no, it blue. Won't. It's weird. I mean. <laughs> no, none of that makes any sense. <laughs> See, 19 to me is is white orange because it's oh, one nine. Oh, you can never separate. See, I, I mean, think I... of each num- a number individually. Until each when? Each have their own color. Until when? I don't know. Like 100 or what? 100 is all white. Yeah, 100 is white. Yeah. Um, you know what's weird <laughs> is that for me, though, like 27, uh, 27 is kind of a badass I feel like um, 23 is definitely a badass. Like, there's certain... You should say lotto. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's, but it's like, the weird thing about, about synesthesia, though, is that numbers and, and letters have personalities as well as colors mm-hmm. sometimes, too. And um, so if you ask me any letter in the alphabet, I'll be like, oh, that's... L is a is a a, a very like petite gay man, and M <laughs> is kind of a domineering woman. Like they all are like have different. What was your question going to be to him? No, oh, my question Regarding was going to be Fritos. like Fritos. <laughs> right. oh, but and I can't to... I can't tell if this is branding or synesthesia. But Fritos is like your friend's older brother who's like kind of like a hesher. Like and he's got salt on his fingers all the time well probably because no. he eats fritos probably but like fritos are definitely oh, male weird. do you know what i mean but yeah. i don't know i don't get that you're saying. i can see what you're saying there's a there's like... a there's a photograph of me that i have on my phone uh and if i had my phone on me i would show it to you but i think it's, it's a there. podcast so don't, don't, uh, bother. don't worry about it but uh there's a picture of me when i was probably 470 pounds shut up you were 470 and, uh, pounds girl what yeah, 2003, thereabouts. Shut up. Oh my god, I didn't know. And uh, next to next to me in the photo is a one liter bottle of Coca Cola <gasps> and a big giant bag of Fritos. Fuck yeah! <laughs> that was my fucking jam. <laughs> when did you start eating healthier? Uh, 2003. Yeah. Oh, you were like, I'm gonna change this. Yeah, and I tried and tried and tried, and I That's feel like it it's is. really sort of. It's clicked now since I've uh, been able to uh, be in a position where I can afford a personal trainer. Totally. And when you can afford better food and a personal trainer, yeah. it makes a big difference. Yeah. What does your trainer make you do? Uh, he makes me take my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he does. He tells me how well I'm doing by touching my balls. <laughs> uh, no, he do, I do. we do all sorts of stuff. Uh, circuits, usually. Circuits of where do you guys meet? I'm actually like... I've realized now that like I, I go to spinning and I go to yoga, but yeah. I'm, I but I like to eat, so I'm always like a little bit. I'm always soft, you know. Like I'm not. A lady should be soft. Though. Yeah, but I also like would like to be toned in certain places, like I used to be in high school. But like a personal trainer to me is, is scary. It sounds un, like unhappy. Like I get a lot out of <laughs> spinning and I get out a lot of yoga. Is but this like a... I think it depends on who you're. Who is training you? Did they just take just you to a park a and yell one. at you? Don't get a German. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need. You know, like a self hating uh, Jew. And like... You don't have to go to a park. I go to a I go to a gym on La Brea, a training gym. Yeah, then yeah. So it's, it's for keep your ass in check. Yeah, right? okay. like literally, yeah. they keep your ass in check. But the, it's actual, very literal. They check you, your ass off. Am I? I have a question though. Are yes. all 
personal trainers just doing that until pilot season clicks in and then they'll abandon you if they get a show. <laughs> I feel like you have to find the right trainer who's been through enough pilot seasons. Here, I just picked who's up this question. Who just really? picked up this question. That's oh, a perfect for you. Got another Go. question. What's the craziest thing you've done in the name of dieting? Why do we keep talking about food? Because well, I just, listen, picked, it just this up. picked it up. It's God's will. It's no. God's fucking Why will. Why do you have so many food questions? No, it just it's happened. fine with me. Right. It's the craziest thing I've done in the name of dieting. Um, Georgia, what's yours? Barfing? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've done that. That's not that crazy. Really? It's not that crazy. I tried to bulim a couple Yesterday, times. Yesterday. I can't. Oh, do I you can't know what? Bulim. And here's this is going to sound terrible. And if anyone's going through bulimia or <laughs> I anorexia, I think a couple people a bad, probably are. It's a, you know, anyone listening, I know it's a horrible, you need to get help. You need to figure that out because it's not healthy. Like, no, you shouldn't it's be not. doing that. It's, you shouldn't be. But I have said many times that if I had any sort of gag reflex, <gasps> I would be bulimic. Oh, why? Because then you can eat what you want. Oh my god! The shame is still there. No, the shame away is, as no, soon it as it comes out. No, but your what about your the damage you're doing to your oh, teeth? I've tried. Also, I've tried so many times. I feel like I've shoved no. a pencil down there. Jesus Christ! I have this problem where I have a very amiable gag reflex. Uh, like I could barf on command. Yeah. She doesn't well, need a finger. You. I don't. I do need a finger. I mean, I guess if I really willed it, I probably wouldn't. But George is great at barfing, and I've and I've overcome bulimia and i can tell you as an ex-bulimic yeah. you don't it's not like cool i did it it's like oh i'm sure you i have. am a disgusting human yeah, being who just sure. did that I've because seen the i Calista ate too Flockhart much made for tv movie. Sure. um <laughs> but I can't, uh, I can't do it i've there have been times when i've been like i know you can't that was too my... much and i and it, no, nothing fucking happens i don't know what how what my throat was made for but i <laughs> yeah. can shove uh, some shit down oh, me too. Days, me too hey Okay, what's the thing you've done? Uh, but uh, well, I mean, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I there we had the spread out for the show. Oh, that's the worst! And uh, there were jalapeno poppers, fucking craft oh, services. So I sat poppers. there and and peeled them. <laughs> I peeled Shut the up. breading off of them. <laughs> low carb. Oh, the cheese low carb. Low high shame. That's, that's, that's okay. a good one. I love yeah. it. It's vegetables it's pretty, and cheese. It's Atkins friendly. But it was friendly. pretty shameful. Like, if you're going to do it and you know you're going to do it, Oh, and I was just yelling to it. everyone in the green room, don't judge me. I'm peeling jalapeno <laughs> poppers. You know what? I feel like if you're going to do it, like do it in a way that makes you not shameful. I feel like that's the biggest thing no. about dieting yeah. is shame. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, like shame. It. You know what's funny is also in LA, no one judges shit. We went to a meeting yesterday that had sandwiches. <laughs> Guess what was left on everyone's plates? The bread. bread. The bread. No, was one, yeah. no one in Los Angeles. But why didn't bread. they just order a salad? Because I've eaten because... the inside of more Subway sandwiches <laughs> than I, I, I can't imagine. <laughs> there's no shame. No, there's a, who's who's a gluten uh, sympathizer? No one. Everyone fucking hates gluten. It's and fine. like when you're the kind of person who eats a sandwich, there's like something to be like either it's proud like, of or embarrassed. I of. will. I will. Say Say, I think gluten intolerance is bullshit. Do you? I really do. You do. Can, do you think like I really okay, do? A I think it's psychosomatic. It. Yeah. I think it's psychosomatic. I really do. I really no, think it's man. in people's heads. In what way? Because I think you could secretly feed a gluten intolerant person gluten, and they'd be fine. If I it think was secret. some people with celiac, I feel like we should have do this. legit like fucked up villi in their intestines. Yeah, I've met people who were like, but it's I think my life. yes, there are some people like Janet Varney. She, uh, Jana Varney, uh, she's a wonderful actress, a uh, voice actor. I mean, she runs Sketchfest. I was terrified mm. you were going to say that, like, uh, that she was the press secretary for the White House. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> Alan no, Shane, uh, in the United States. No, but Janet, uh, Janet has the real gluten intolerance. Yeah, Megan Gans, our friend Megan who's been Gans. on the podcast, mm. she she's legit. was, like, sick for two years she in college. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is the thing. There's some, there's some legit, but I would say the vast majority, get over yourselves. The, you I know don't, what I have the problem with the vast. I agree with you. I feel like I feel like there are a lot of health benefits to certain people, and they and they actually do, like they do better and they thrive when they're not eating it. Yeah. But they will not shut up about it, and every time you go out anywhere with them, that's all they talk about. Yeah. So just don't do it if it makes yeah. you feel better. I will go so, and hide, I'll, it. Yeah. hide it. Hide you it, bastards. Oh, just it's not like I'm like <laughs> when I go out to eat, I'm like. I'm gluten intolerant and eat a sandwich. Yeah. So why do they have to be like, I'm gluten intolerant. I'm going to order a salad. Probably because they, uh, my guess is they feel um, embarrassed by it. So it's the same thing as peeling a popper being like, hey, this is a thing, guys. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about this. Just, this just doing annoying. it. Just letting it um, happen. That's what, what would, but um, wait, so did you, would you say that peeling a popper would be your most, uh, well, this week. in the name of, <laughs> in the name of dieting? I have a long history. Do you have a secret talent? That's my next a question. A secret talent. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Play clarinet. You play oboe? No. What's the deal? Do I you, play uh, guitar. 
do. Oh yeah, you, you own yeah. a lot of like I nice have guitars. Twenty three guitars. Jesus oh, my gracious! I collect them. Is, uh, that call, is that what you I'm, call it when you just want to yeah. buy a bunch of shit and not feel bad about it? So oh. what happens is I end up. They're very rare uh, left-handed guitars. So, so you collected all of them. What, what are you happens do with is them? if I find them and I, I go, I'll never see that again. You can't not buy it. I'll buy it. What are you going to do with them? Uh, I play them. Oh, I play go. them. There's six hanging up on my wall that are played pretty often, almost every day. And then in my office upstairs, I have uh, a bunch of them on a rack. I was going to say, your second bedroom, air quotes, yeah. that's your guitar room. <laughs> Yeah. It kind of is. Right. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. a desk in there. That's is that where your I do, only collection where of I do things? Work. Um, I have comic books. Okay. I have like. Uh, what do you have? Like, what's your when you collect comic books? What's your like thing you're looking for? Uh, first appearances. That's a big deal. You know, like you want the first appearance of. So you're not like Wolverine, I need, I need which is the Hulk 187. Do you have renters insurance? Uh, you oh, know, you it just should. it lapsed. What? It lapsed, nah. and then I actually what happened was I had contacted them. And I was like, oh, I need to insure the thing. And they're like, what is, well, yeah, we can cover you up to 15000 I was like, oh, no, no, that's not enough. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, well, I have guitars. They're like, how many guitars do you have? I have 20. They're like, oh, we're going to need to, you're going to get a call from this guy. And I never got a call you from that get, guy. Georgia, do you have renter's insurance? I was this close to getting it. And Georgia, then... we need to do this together. Uh, you guys, Let's get you guys I don't have renter's insurance. Wait, Hi, I no, live no, no. in Matt Myra's um, studio. <laughs> I live in his... Wait, you, you live in my it office. Mira? It's Mira. It's Myra. Myra. God damn it. Why, why did everyone's brain break I got it twisted. with that? That's the don't one thing it. is don't get it twisted. And I got yeah. it so twisted. I don't have renter's insurance, do you? No. No. I thought I was a grown-up for five minutes there. Yeah. And then and then I remembered I don't have renter's insurance. My car's paid off. I got health insurance. You get your teeth cleaned. I get them cleaned. I go to the vet you get to get them cleaned the- on the <laughs> I feel like there are certain things that you're like, here's when you're a grown up and like certain things for like guys I'll date where like you go to the dentist at least once a year. I go twice a year, but go once a year. You do your taxes. I do. I actually enjoy doing my own taxes. I actually enjoy going to the dentist. Last year I had 19 W9s or W2s. Gee whiz. 19 of them. Oh, that's too We go to the same. We go to the same guy. He's amazing. Well, what is it? At what point do you think you're a grown up? I feel like I keep chasing this dragon. This is a great question. And it's Thank a question you. that I don't know that we're ever going to be able to answer. Oh, mm. no. Well, it's it's interesting because uh, my recent uh, situations have brought <laughs> me to the conclusion that uh, maybe, maybe I'm almost there. You know, hmm. this 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 adult level breakup I've been having mm-hmm. and going through right now is is the thing that's sort of making me go. Okay, hmm. give yourself six months after you guys move out from like you might go a little crazy. I'm expected to go crazy like in a couple weeks. Here's what I think is going to happen. Yeah. Your show's about to wrap. Yeah. People go through post rap funks oh, in yeah. this town. Too and it's time, a real, it's just, the thing is, when you're on a show, when you're working on a show, you have this family. Yep. And then the family dissolves. Dis- it disperses, yeah. And then on top of that, the money goes away. So there's a weird little yeah. funk that happens when people rap stuff where they're like, all of a sudden the bottom yeah. drops. I'm already trying to like fill, like I'm going on the road with Hardwick a little bit to open for him in oh, December. I'm like trying to bridge the gap. Good for you. Smart. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. mean to sound super negative. negative. Take up Sudoku. Do, yeah. do play a bunch of guitar. I don't mean to sound negative. I went through the last year. I've you know gone through a breakup, and it was an uh, amicable breakup. Good guy. Nothing. Nothing happened. And I don't think I really went crazy. There was a, like a couple months there where I was sad. And I think I'm ready it. to yeah. get uh, into a nice funk. Yeah. Where I okay may or may not have a couple bagels. Like just, I can do it. Just, I had one on Sunday. <gasps> How good was it? I had a bagel it? Sunday morning. What'd you have? Like, tell it. me all the details. Well, I had a sesame bagel. Oh, I love those. SK Donuts. Okay. Which is on third. I highly recommend uh, their blueberry donut. It's one of the best in the city. I don't know. If, I don't know if I believe in blueberry donuts. You will believe in this one. Okay. Yeah. Give it a shot, George. It's just a little it's cream the donut cheese? you need. Okay. Uh, you don't need, oh, cream cheese on the bagel? No, I had their sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich. Oh, fuck. On a blueberry donut? No, oh. I'm saying the a donut's great, bagel. but on a sesame bagel. Got it. Come, Come on, George, got, got, got it. On a sesame bagel, and I ate that at 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And you're awake on a Sunday at 8, you deserve a goddamn bagel. Oh, God, I get up at 6 all the time. It's Why? Ridiculous. Do you have a baby we don't know about? I wish. <laughs> no. Nope. Do you nope. want a baby? You sure back. That? Let me take that back. <laughs> hey. Oh, fuck, the one time the genie's listening. I know. God, you know we're both pregnant all of a sudden. <laughs> Someone's so going to get knocked. Ugh. Okay, and we I, would have the most fun house if you both I had my know. baby. Guys, it's a sitcom. <laughs> Isn't that weird that we could both 
if we really, if we all three decided, we could both <laughs> we get could knocked happen. up and have weird, creepy half sibling sisters, and then be like, Matt, yes, this would be you guys, We could move to the Do you desert know how much fucking right now. Fun this give, would be. Uh, if only we fun. went to war with Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ali would be on it. Just make decisions. <laughs> guys, we'll make get a bigger decisions. townhouse. I promise. We'll get. A, <gasps> we'll just live a, in a fucking teepee. Fuck everything. It has a Beautiful. wing, an extra wing for guitars. Here's I a have question. a dining room I don't use. Go ahead. Okay. Perfect. Here's my question. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Oh, can I ask this one? <laughs> ghost story! Yeah, do you have a ghost? Do you have a ghost, ghost story? story? Guys, I'm from the most haunted state. Boston? Or from Massachusetts? Massachusetts? You're from Boston, though. I, well, I'm from Lowell, right? Massachusetts. What the fuck is Lowell? Oh, Lowell I, oh, I is where it. the fighter was. So okay. that movie with Mark Wahlberg That's about good. crack and boxing. That's good. That's where I'm from. So Love you it. do crack and boxing. I do crack and boxing. So tell us a ghost story, then. Uh, well... I is Massachusetts lived, really the most haunted? As far as I know, situation? right? Back me up on oh, this. Are you kidding? Yeah. Massachusetts is blood soaked. Well, didn't Allie yeah. go? You went for a tour. Did you go I to went Salem? for a ghost tour. Where? In Boston. In Boston. Oh, I had a sure. seven-hour layover, and so I I carted. You got out of <laughs> Logan. <laughs> yep. Uh, I guess it's like the it's right there. The ghost but tour is like right across the water. The best part is I had my rolling suitcase with me the entire tour. <laughs> oh like, my Do you hear God. that? Oh wait, it's where can Alex. I fucking? My put brain. It? Like the other day, I was like really angry about there not being lockers in airports oh, until I remembered yeah, that yeah, you'd probably bombs. put a bomb in one. Bombs. <laughs> Makes sense that there aren't lockers I in know, airports. Yeah. Um, anyway, like a roller skating rink where you can just fucking hydrate. But you could have rechecked your bag, right? Uh, no, it was a carry on. Anyway, anyway. uh, go hosts, go hosts. Uh, well, I lived for a while. I lived in, in, a, in a very old house. Uh, Ooh. it was, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, it was belonged to one of the old mill owners in mm. Lowell. I don't even think there are old mill owners. No, it's just I, fun to say it belonged to one of the old mill owners. Mill owners. <laughs> it does sound fake. It uh, fake. it's up on a hill. It's on Highland no, Street. You can no you can house. go you can drive by it in Lowell right now. It's right next to the McDonough Funeral Home, which is where I worked for four years. Ooh, oh, that's right. more about this. Um, so there, I st- I stayed in in the haunted room, which <sighs> belonged to Mrs. Donahue, who was the old at the funeral owner place? of the next door to it. Oh shit! Oh god! Uh, same property. Okay. Um, oh no! But it was she. It, her, it was that was her room. Mrs. Donahue's room, and she died in that in that bedroom. Oh, fucking bitch! So, From natural causes, being bludgeoned to death yeah. by a stereo. So the killer. idea, <laughs> you know, the idea that we all had was that this is her room. She haunts this. She okay. haunts this room. Fair. That's fair. Matt, this is your room. Uh, <laughs> cool. So enjoy that. Did you get a break so, on the rent? <laughs> I didn't pay rent. Oh, uh, so yes. So yes, a huge break. Uh, so there, you know, you'd always hear soaring or whatever, and I never. Never heard anything, never saw anything. Sometimes the door would open, but I would just assume that was like a change in the airflow. Sure. Because mm-hmm. I try to be logical about things. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And uh, one time we were out swimming in the pool behind the house. Uh, and you could see up to the porch where that room, that room had a porch that we never would go on because it was like falling apart. And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you could see up there. And one night oh, no. we were, we were all outside. <laughs> no one was in the house. I'm so scared already right now. Cause there's like a lantern lit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, okay. No one was in the house and we saw a figure, <gasps> a figure that billowed out at the waist <gasps> that turned <gasps> Fuck. And then just moved away. No. no. Did everyone see it? Three of us saw it. Oh, that's when enough. When am I ever scared by a ghost story, Allie? <laughs> that's enough. Never. Three Except people is enough. With you, I fucking believe... Like, I... You're a logical person. You I don't think you, you're a bullshitter. Right. You believe no. in moon lasers. <laughs> yeah. You and like your door is open. <laughs> your door is open many times and you're like, that's not a thing. Yeah. No, I thought but that was a the Multiple win. people oh. saw but this. Multiple like, saw, yeah. And okay. it just sort of moved off. I believe it. So I'm get I'm just guessing she was making sure we're having a good time at the pool. Probably. I mean, oh, night, she was trying to night swimming deserves a quiet hour. She was probably reading your diary. She's like, "Oh, good, he's in the pool." <laughs> that she probably watched me jerk off so many times. <laughs> oh, she probably loved it. She <laughs> loved probably it. Was way into it. <laughs> probably why she never bothered me. Loved it. <laughs> it gives me a show every night. You're like, there's ghost lube on the dresser. <laughs> yeah. Happening. She's like, go for it, Matt. Oh, go for it, Matt. So, what was? Do you want to talk about the funeral home at all? Yeah, I can what talk did about you the do funeral there? Home? Sure, I what did, did everything. You- I was a funeral there. assistant. How the fuck did you get that job? So cool. Uh, my best friends in high school, they family business is the funeral home. Oh, jeez. so cool. Uh, Were you ever for a second like, mm, nah? 
Like, was there ever... You know, there was a time, there was a period in time where I thought this is, maybe this is where I would end up. <gasps> like, that's what my job would be. I would go to funeral school, become because a funeral director. Because you liked it so much? I liked, I liked the guys, you know. I li- It was a good... It was it my, my like two best legit. friends, John and Joe, they're brothers. They're, uh, they're a year apart from each other. Oh, they're my ghosts. God. So we were all, we were all super tight. In fact, when I'm going, I'm going to Boston on Saturday. And I'll be sleeping on their couch. Uh, their haunted couch. Their McDougal's. Haunted couch. You'll be sleeping McDonough's, on top of McDonough's. McDonough's. They're going to get rid of the body that's sleeping on the couch right now. And they're going to let you sleep on it. That's um, cool. What'd you do there? I did everything. What happened was I was hanging around so much at the house that uh, uh, we would have to like do things. So they lived next door. This is where I ended up living. Mm-hmm. But they live next door to the funeral home. It's on one big piece of property. Mm. Uh, so like we would be doing things that guys in high school do. Just hanging around watching TV. <laughs> You know, ordering Domino's. You Eating know, Fritos. Just things, yeah. Mm-hmm. Embalming. Exactly. And then I'd be like, body time. And like a body would come in. Well, then they'd be like, oh, we got to go move this casket to get ready for the wake tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And uh, instead of me leaving, because it would only take them 20 minutes to do, I'd walk over with them. And I ended up helping so much. They were like, we should just start paying you. Was it just local people? Like, would you be like, oh, that was my first grade teacher? Like, uh, was it we, buried, uh, we buried my... English teacher, my high school English teacher. Fuck it. Dr. Pine. You guys, oh, I'm saying the effort so much. No, I'm okay. so scared. It's, it's intense. Okay. It's intense. <laughs> we buried, so uh, yeah, we buried a lot of people I knew, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Really? Did yeah. you? I mean, what age were you? You were this is, uh, four, this early is college. Eight, this is 19 to 22. So uh, did you have like some, some crisis of like mortality sort of? existential no well i'll see what happened was i just sort of became very desensitized and i'm still to this day very desensitized to death really yeah it's just i look at it as just another another fact of life you know which it is does that trouble you or do you think it's healthy i think it troubles me sometimes Uh like i worry about like how i am affected by like people dying and stuff like that Well, i think it's also can be healthy though it can be yeah and you know it only the the only time the only times would ever ever really affect me was when it was a kid, oh. or it was a uh, a, oh, sure. a young parent. Oh sure, oh, sure, sure. You know what I mean. Yeah, that yeah, had yeah. kids. Those when are the two was... times where I'd go like, "Fuck." Well, what the I think hell? you still got your your shit intact then, if that upsets yeah. you. Infants, I was like, "Meh." You didn't really know. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Whoa! I kind of am with you on that. You know, it's like you don't <laughs> know. What's wrong with you guys? It's like you didn't get it. You got no time to know this, baby. Don't oh get my over God. it. I'm like your whole life no. was spared the worst. Part. I'm slowly edging out of this TP right now. <laughs> no, backing because, out of this TP because an infant, an infant knew the basic joys and the basic. Yeah, stars but the parents have this idea of what oh, this person true. would become. I'm yeah, thinking, but then they can get they, right back to making another one. Yeah, but nine months of caring this child that you had all these hopes and dreams and these kicks and these. What if the baby for? was kidnapped? You don't know that. Maybe it was somebody else's. Yeah. Oh, what if the baby was sad. taken? I'm just saying. Two. I'm just saying that that there was less less life to have been Look, extinguished. I don't believe in karma, but I feel like saying that. You're no, just like I'm not. For your I'm baby just, to die one I'm day. just saying that the, that well, when then we'll it, just have to raise yours. This sounds terrible. <laughs> Kidnap mine and raise it. I'm Perfect. just saying it seems, and it also seems more like no, weirdly it's... fate and purposeful that like your light was extinguished. There's no such soon. thing as fate. Well, no. then, you don't think there's any such thing as fate? I think there's no. some fate. That. I think I that there's some that. weird fate. I think fate. there is some. I almost feel like it's so weird that the person who has empathy for the dead baby I have doesn't believe in fate. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the other, the other empathy I have for the dead baby is that 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 dead baby didn't know the worst sorrows of life, and that that's not you're a bad depre- way. You have depression, Allie. No, well, no. I mean, do you know how many people died in the Philippines like today alone? Yeah, yeah. but they like, loved and, and cared about people, and people cared and loved about them, and they no, got to experience. Well, what something. I'm saying is, is that baby didn't know all of the sorrow that life can present. Yeah, but the that next baby. baby well well we're just talking about this dead baby okay plus the baby probably died before it was baptized so it had original (laughs) sin and ended up in hell catholics are great you're both catholic are you both catholic I mean, uh, I'm, I was I'm Catholic. Raised Catholic. I was raised Catholic. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying that there's a lot of sorrow that that child never knew, and they had more, much, kind of more more pure, okay, and uh, an innocent existence. Yeah, but would you rather like, have the parents hadn't started a college fund? Like there was nothing. I'm super really sad for the parents. Dustin, I'm super sad get, for the parents. Dustin is cracking up. Over, Dustin, can I get a something? Can I get you backing me up here? No, I'm dying because this conversation is awesome, but I totally agree with them. I've had the same thoughts. <laughs> yes. But I admire you for caring. <laughs> what is wrong 
What's wrong with you guys? I'm here, I'm just saying that the baby didn't have to go through like, holy shit, I'm addicted to crack. But and I like, got I'm... through all of that and I'm stoked to be alive. Well, well that's you, good. You you've appreciate it. You've been on the it. other side of meth rehab. Yeah, and but had like, you lived yeah, and had it, you but... not gone through that, you know, I'd like still be stoked to be alive. But that's, no, there's Georgia, a lot listen. of sorrow. Is all. Babies there's don't know a lot shit. Of sorrow. And I think it's Email part of us like, at well, Allie and Georgia no. at gmail.com and weigh in on how you hey, <laughs> Email me at Matt at Nerdist.com. There's a lot of sorrow that that baby didn't have to go through. And that's like kind of nice. Yeah. Right? I agree. There's just a lot of swaddling and farting and smiling and cooing. And that's just from the parent. That's just. You know how we removed babies from hospitals after they had died? Oh, no. How? <laughs> they make you, the parents have to hand it over, right? Oh, we, no. No. Uh, in an attache case. What? what? We wouldn't take a whole gurney in. What? Oh, because no one wants to because see Because no one wants to see a little tiny bump on a gurney. Yeah. So we'd get it we'd, in an attache case, in one of those big buckly attache cases. Wait, and you have like, to dress up really nice when you go, right? Yeah. yeah, I have an ex-boyfriend who's a uh, funeral. Like, wait, in one wait. of those weird, like, in, like one of those Bond cases, In one of those cases you would see silver ones? Uh, a, an accountant carrying oh. that had all the files like in it. Like a briefcase? Like one of those flip a doos Oh my God, if I ever see someone with an attache, <laughs> attack you them. Assume there's a dead baby in it? I'd be like, it's all their W-9s. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just taking a W nine and, like, and a dead baby out on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're like that. doing my taxes. Yeah. So, did you ever the first time you ever saw a dead body? Yes. yes. Who was well, it? the first time I saw a dead body was my grandmother. Yeah, that's why I didn't ask because I was like, but it's not oh. in the home. Oh no, it's all right. Yeah, first time I ever saw a dead cool. body was my grandmother, oh, and that was crazy. Fine. Yeah. As because I was ten. Oh shit! And I was like freaked out by the whole concept of like, oh, it's oh, a yeah. body. Are you freaked? Do you think open? What do you guys think about open? That's casket? all we ever knew. Catholics. That's all we know. Yeah. We let oh. me look that's at all him. We ever knew. Let me look. At Why? Him. You gotta see. You gotta see the empty out. vessel. You gotta yeah, because you believe, and also the Catholics are like, oh, it's cool. He's chilling. He's in the back. He's in the after party. Can I tell you a scary yeah. story? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I, I had never seen a dead body before. Like my grandma, we got to her funeral late because. Jews are oh. always late, which is why I'm always early to everything. Where's my grandmother's funeral late? Um, so I didn't see her body, but my ex ex fiance, we went home to see to his grandmother's funeral, and they had an open casket. Mm. And we went to kneel. I guess you guys kneel on the little yep. fucking pillow, yep. or whatever. You guys. And he was like, "Can you guys? Can you come over with me?" And I'm like, "Sure, I'll come with you." You know, just to be with him. And he's not really into. He's not spiritual either. So we kneel there, and he's like, "Bye, grandma. Like, thank you." And then we hear from her body no and we both kind of looked at each other and walked away and like didn't talk about it for like a couple weeks until we got home and we're like we got high and we were like don't get high you guys don't get high kids nope and we were like she breathed out right <gasps> and we were both like yeah we heard that what's that about i think it was just gases right uh like yeah that, it's no. kind of I, I i find that although wait was she she was catholic this no, I think they were Christian oh. or some shit. Or like, hissing grandma. Hissing dead the, grandma. It's just What gases. state was it? Uh, New York. Yeah, if you're, you got to be embalmed if you're having an open casket in New York. Oh. Uh, so, so what was I'm it? Gonna, so she know. was probably her ghost. Oh. Could have been her ghost. Can I say that I was You high? know what's crazy is embalming yeah, uh, right. autopsied people. That's a pain in the ass. Why? Oh, right, because they just open up their chest cavity. Do they not yeah. autopsy most people? Correct. They do not. So in the, Massachusetts, just... I'm very familiar with Massachusetts funeral law, so oh, I'll God. I'll share some of that with you. Uh, the um, if you are under 40 years old That's it? and you die, you automatically have to go to an autopsy. I if say you, 60 should be the number. If you uh, and if you uh, die under unusual circumstances, you have to get autopsy. And if you die in a car accident in Massachusetts, regardless of age, you have to get autopsy. Why? I don't know. Blood alcohol? Maybe just to see if it, maybe it was a like, murder. That dun, 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 makes no sense to me. I, I, foul play. I feel like under 70, you should be autopsied. And car mm. accident, if like... Well, you can always you request an autopsy, you know? Can you put that in your paperwork? I think so, yeah. You're like, oh. farm out these organs once you autopsy yeah. them. I don't know. Well, what it's you crazy is like, uh, the, they're pain in the ass, too. Because oh, no. sorry, because like the femur will be missing and it's just like PVC pipe. Oh, and you have to put like a broom in there. Like, oh, uh, well, I guess you, we'll... I just cremate me. Just and then you have to put me. like glue on places, right? Oh, yeah, no. you glue the mouth shut. Oh. How accurate was six feet under? Pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. except oh, that no one God. at my funeral home was closeted on the side. <laughs> they were just out. Were they out. Yeah. Everyone oh, was out. I love Massachusetts. <laughs> Massachusetts, it's so nice and. 
leafy and liberal. I've never and... been. It's so it's weirdly, for a place that is so liberal, we have such a bizarre history of racism. <laughs> yeah, that, well, I mean, it is. It's so weird. Like, I have this, I have this joke in my act about my dad being an old school racist in that oh, he yeah. still hates the Irish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, like, it's so, racism. it's such a weird, it's such a well, weird thing. Well, back east is just drenched in blood. Like, I went to Maine over the summer. Oh, God, And yeah. apart from having. Where in Maine more, did you go? I went to Castine, Maine. I flew into, or no, where did I fly? I flew into Boston, which is why I was yeah. on a fucking crazy ass layover nice. carrying my suitcase. Oh, and then you missing. got on a little tiny plane? And then I got a tiny one. <laughs> and then, um, didn't I? Or did I drive? No. You I drove. Didn't. Oh, I drove. You got so That's right. You. No, yeah. we went on a tiny plane. I know, Allie. Schedule constantly. <laughs> she was on a period. Um, I no, I went to a wedding up there, and um, and but we, the gas station sell lobsters for like four dollars, which what? is tits. Yeah. But um, they have these plaques in like certain like wooded areas, and it'll be like at this spot, in 1642. Like, and it'll it'll be like uh, these people got besieged, and they bit their noses off. And what? You're just like, why is this plaque telling me this? I don't need that detail. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty gruesome. I mean, there's been... But Massachusetts is like that too. Oh, yeah. Right? Don't you guys have been plaques... been 1620. Saying like... Yeah. Where the pilgrims landed. That's where my family Old came school. over in the 1600s. Yeah. And there's a there's a place in Marlboro, Massachusetts Marlboro that is... It's a, there's a ward museum because my, I'm related to Artemis You're of ward. those wards? I'm of those you wards. You know those wards? Yes. Do you really? Yes. Do we have, do people shit talk us back there? No one shit talking to wolves. Oh, that's good. Like they hate babies and they want them all dead. <laughs> that's what they say. There's a museum though. There's a ward museum. That's awesome. There's a plaque. There's there's plaques. a lot of ward stuff out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we we oh, settled that family. shit. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm sure that we killed some people not in a good way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. do you know yeah. what Why I mean? Wanna... And that's horrifying to think about because every day I'm like, should I be vegan? You didn't and then do it. My stupid ancestors in the 1600s just probably owned people, and it's horrible. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's what you did back then. Uh, uh, should we do one more question? That's how and I feel about that? vegetarianism now. I feel like I feel like in the future, people are just gonna be like, "You just ate meat. You I just doubt went it. and got a sandwich with I the chicken doubt it. on it. You didn't think about it." Mm-hmm. The way that other people are like, "You just you owned human beings and mistreated it's interesting. them. I don't know like the fucking has, messed uh, up." It's uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like in the future, and I mean, you're talking to a woman who, I just fed you chicken soup 10 minutes ago. Delicious chicken I'm soup. I'm just saying that it's one of those things that in the future, we're going to think how the barbarism, oh God, the intolerable barbarism. I think it's going to be oh, more, wait, it's going to be more human nature, like a human thing, not like animal. What do you like, mean? you know, of course there's a like, we didn't let gay people get married, but it's going to be like more like things that we don't, we're not even aware of are bad right now. Well, I know, but I like think. Like women, women restroom only had one bathroom and like women had to line up to go pee well is that why the line so about long? killing what do you mean like why i don't understand it i don't understand because i figure you guys because are all takes... you're all stalls right it's you're all so... stalls no oh, but i guess there's a whole ordeal if someone wears tights that's a whole other thing no. it's not even tights. you take this fucking seat down the yeah. like toilet seat out and you put it on the toilet seat but maybe you have to wipe off the pee on the fucking seat yeah first, there's always pee on the seat yeah, always okay, pee on the seat uh, let me ask you always pee on why are you every using seat? that toilet seat thing because, because if you squat, you get pee all over your legs. Yep. It doesn't matter how good of a squatter you are, you're still going to get some pee on your legs. There's going to be a it tiny sucks. bit of splashback. Yes, always. That's true, though. Yeah, you guys got to sit for everything. Yeah. You, and, but I, can I tell you, though, if you do squat, if you have no choice, yeah. that is such a good workout. You're just, oh, you're yeah. The, oh, the burn yeah. and the That's thighs. That's just like a, yeah. a happy spin on it. But, it makes me mad when I have to squat. Guys, I don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, as far as Speaking my of <laughs> trainer's clients go, I'm the best at squatting. Are you? Yep. Squats are so important. Yeah. Now try it every time you pee. They're very powerful thighs, guys. They're really good for for the buns. Yeah. If we if we can talk about buns, you guys are putting sure a very can. positive spin on something that's I'm um, wild squatting. about. <laughs> no, squ- squatting squatting in a in a PE sense, you have to go all the way down. You drop yeah. that so yeah. hot. Do you want to do another slumber party question? Sure, I'd love to. Do you want to talk about crushes? Sure, let's talk about crushes. Do you have an internet crush? Do you have someone who you just you you RT and fave that shit? You're like, I wish I were friends with them. Look at their look at their cool stuff they do. That's interesting. Do I have an do, do, do you have one? Rush. Um No, but you know who I'm always looking at when I'm bored, like at night and I can't fall asleep, is the Huffington Post. Uh I just look at their Twitter because, really? And then I go to their crime blog. Oh crime. You know blog. who I have a fucking internet crush on actually? Who? And I uh McNamara. What's um I don't know who you're talking Shit. about. Someone else go. Oh, wait. Does she, does she, uh... She's married to the comedian who's little. 
Patton? Yes, Patton Oswalt's wife. She is a comedian who's little. She is. I only a... knew that because I read her giant thing in the L.A. It's so Times. great. It's yeah. about the real Night Stalker, yeah. and she's like super into crime writing and stuff. And I think she's like, I just want to meet her and be like, oh, I understand that she's so cool. she's quite the forensic uh, blogger. I think they're talking to her about like making a show, which like you know I love true crime mm-hmm. shows. Oh, I hate true crime shows. Do you watch true crime shows? No. I'm so scared. You guys are cool dead babies, but crime shows, no. I, did the baby well, you crime shows have no intent. Sorrow. Dead babies, it's just like, whoopsie. Yeah. Okay, what if someone the kills dead... their infant? Oh, well, well that sucks. Story. But I'm just saying that baby didn't know some of the harder sorrows of life. Okay. And my thought is, you barely had the car out of the showroom and you got in an accident. <laughs> Don't worry too much about it. I'm just going to let that land. <laughs> I'm just going to look at you silently. <laughs> And let that land. That a dead it's like baby you're just driving it off the lot, okay, and it gets totaled. The opposite. A dead baby is, is is Cameron's dad's car in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> no, because that's an old car that's been through a lot. Okay, but at the same, you guys, what about a five year old who is a oh, five year old that's no, 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 super sad? Shut up. So... What if he's proven himself to be a little shithead, and you kind of can't stand him, but you like him, and he's fine, he's your kid, like whatever. Are you, you know just telling us the plot of the day. good son? Oh no. <laughs> but the infant has infinite possibilities and you're like you, infant, you, the infinite possibilities and you can just put you know you project every whatever those, you want every, on them what if, what if you think of this every baby that dies was going to be the next Hitler mm-hmm. think about it you never know you don't know <laughs> maybe could have been a little and shit. that's when she punched him in the face it what was, is so weird you know what's weird you guys I'm just gonna go there for one second wow. there have been dead babies who could have raped someone later isn't that fucking weird again and, letting that land <laughs> <laughs> again I'm horrified just saying, i'm just saying you don't know how fate played out Think but there have been toyota i'm not saying it's a good thing i'm just saying just wrap your head around it like how many grains of sand are there it's unfathomable it exists think of babies no seriously think of babies as brand new toyota priuses okay <laughs> you drive it off the lot you have no memory no, 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 i get what you're yet. you don't have to you explain have zero it to me memories. I totally uh, you haven't taken that great road trip with your friends yet you uh, can't remember the time the radio but station you had wouldn't the memory. change you had the idea of a great road trip and yeah. it didn't get ruined you know by the actual you know road you trip you get a new car yes. You get another Prius. Oh, but you always remember Prius the ideas better. you had of that Prius. I know. I'm just saying the baby had a better life than most of us. No, it didn't. Well, in that it didn't know anything. It'll come back. You got a chance. No, it won't. It'll come back as another thing. You can't believe it's that. Gonna, it's a frog right now. You fucking Catholics. You know what? You can't believe no, that. It's from a sci- happen. Happen. No, it. From a scientific... This is it. No, listen, listen. From a scientific point, it's going to come back as a fucking frog. You are made... Scientific? No, listen to... Not... Stop it. Stop it. You are a, you are a pile of molecules, yeah. and you are made out of dead rabbit shit. You're made out of, right. of old car parts. But when I You're come made out back of all as kinds insect, of things. I'm not going to be aware that, like, oh, thank God I got killed as a baby that's okay human baby because you're gonna be a dope ass insect and then you're gonna die and then you're gonna become mulch and then you're gonna become a fruit tree that's you are made of molecules that have been repurposed so right and like if you had to be a fruit tree this moment would you be like okay cool yeah I'll yeah try i'd probably be like this is dope i'm the best fruit tree i've ever been okay, well, i'd rather not <laughs> personally and if that fruit tree gets killed as it's a seedling <laughs> then don't worry about it. It turns into, but the thing is, then that's going to turn into a mushroom or a or something or a rock. The it's going to turn into another thing. Life. We're all made out of dead stars. That's insane I'm and wonderful. A panic attack right now. Jordan <laughs> loves it. It's is this your circle? <laughs> Wait, uh, internet crush, and then we'll go to fuck that. <laughs> Who's your internet crush? Life. Go, dead babies. Go. Uh, internet crush. Who do I have a crush on on the internet? Do you mean like someone I totally would do? No. No, you don't have to someone you'd fuck. It could be a dude that you're like, I like following. A dude that I'm funny. so, I, that but I you think also is very fuck. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking to see if there's. Oh, you know who I love following on Twitter? Internet crush? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sarah Thayer. Thayer. My Andy Richter's she? wife. Oh, oh, nice. She was on Strangers with Candy. She was Coach Which Wolf. Which one was she on? She was Coach <gasps> Wolf. Love her. Uh, and she wrote a great book. Uh, called Dark at the Roots, okay. which is her memoir. Cute. Which is very Sedarisian. Love it. Uh, David, not Amy. Um, and uh, her book's her book's fantastic, and her tweets are very enjoyable. I'm on and it. That's my internet crush. I'm all over that. All right, I'm going to get up on her. Do it. I'm going to get on that. For Do serious. you have a internet um, crush, Ali? Should we get to fuck that? Uh, I'm just going to say, I'm, st- I'm going to say my standards, Megan Amram. And John Hendron, which are at fart. And Megan Amram is one of those people that everyone's like, you've never met her at a party? And I'm like, no. And I don't know how I would talk to her because I'd be like, I love you too much. I've never (sighs) met her at a party either. 
You should get her follow, on there. We follow each God. other on the tweeters. Let's get her in the in the. I don't know how to make her know I exist. Uh, she doesn't get have her to in like here. me. I just want her to engage I just her want her to make eye contact. Get her in the TP. I think she's great. We're going to get her in the TP. Get her in the TP. Okay. Okay. And we'll have Allie fangirl over her. Harvard was like. I promise Harvard. not to talk about dead babies. What's Harvard like? Okay, let's okay, do fuck, fuck that. that. <clears throat> All right, so, so fuck that is one thing you love so much you want to fuck. And one thing yeah. that you're just like, you know, fuck, fuck that. that. Fuck that. All right, yeah. you want us to go? You want to go? Let's have you end it. Okay, sure. Okay, Allie, what's your Georgia, about? Um, a thing that I like so much? Yeah. I had a lot of things I liked so much that I couldn't I couldn't decide. Um, but I'm going to say I'm actually really liking the new Tegan and Sarah album. Of course you are. Not like you didn't like the old Tegan. I know. I know. <laughs> no, they're great. I love them. Um, I listen to it a lot when uh, what is it? I I have to figure out the um. What's I it called? Uh, I can't remember. I'm looking it up right now because I can't remember. It's the one. And there's both of their faces are on it. How's that? Shocking. Um, it's called Heartthrob, and okay. I listened to it when I was walking through New York on a crisp Ooh. and the gloaming, uh, of a crisp I November have a New day. York album too. There's always like an what album you listen to when yeah. you're in New York, and for me, it was in 1998. Damn. Uh, it was Fiona Apple's <gasps> second record. Oh, don't start pond. me on that. That's nice. my favorite record. That, I listened to that all through you? London and Paris That's my on a Walkman. Album. You guys have so much in common. I had on a Dead Babies band. and Fiona yes. Apple. Yeah. Fucking not unrelated. Anymore. Fiona Apple's my internet crush. Oh. She's amazing. I, I would do She's anything amazing. to smell her. She's amazing. Uh, I talked I to her once her. and I said, I, I really like you. And yeah. she was like, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm anorexic. I know because she's so What do you hate, Allie? Um, what's my fuck that that I hate so much? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you were going to do the oh, thing that you uh, like. the thing I love so much that I want to fuck because it's this time of year. Um, I really, really love cookie tins. You uh-huh. know those like sugar cookies yeah. you get that they're like yeah. five different kinds at the market and then you get, but like you, it comes in a tin. Yeah. Yep. But then you get to keep the tin and I use one. My mom as growing up used one for her makeup. And so oh. the sound of the of makeup in a tin is like really comforting to me. Oh. And I use mine for my nail polishes now. Oh, but it's like nice. overflowing. But so cookie tins, I fucking love that. The sound of them make me really happy. And also the cookies in them. You know what I'm talking about? Those yeah. Like- and there's like little tiny dehydrated berries on them sometimes. No. They're like these little tiny ones. No, it's like sugar oh, crystals. No, I know, of, I know. But you're they thinking have little- of the ones that are like a jammy dodger. Kind of. Yeah. Yes. I'm talking about the ones that have like the sugar crystals I know what you're on talking them. About. Oh, she's talking about the blue ones. The blue one, the blue yeah, tin. The blue okay, tin. yeah, I know what you're talking about. With the white paper cups. Yes. That they're oh, on. hell yeah. yeah. You and you dunk those in like hot chocolate and God they dissolve and you yes. eat them right before they dissolve. Yeah. So and you like, hungry. even though it's kind of like too big for your mouth, you stuff a whole one in your mouth and you oh, just like yeah. let it crunch and fall apart your mouth. Cookie you guys, tins. the holidays. Oh, okay, so what shit. do you love so much you want to fuck, Matt? Uh, I love the television program, Love It or List It. Ah! Matt. Oh my god, we gotta talk about this. Can we talk about this? We absolutely can talk about this. Matt and I. I love it so much. Matt and I have this relationship that's purely based on us texting each other about HGTV shows. I watched a little bit of Love It or List It, and I had questions for Georgia yesterday. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh my god, I was like, you watched the original. I, I OG. made sure. Oh, I made sure. She yeah. made sure. She was like, did someone have an accent? And I was like, yeah, yeah. She had an uh, accent. She looked like a witch. And she's like, yeah, that was her. She looked like a witch. She's <laughs> like, my mom is a witch, kind of. Kind of does. <laughs> but I was like, are we supposed to realize that they're faking everything? And oh yeah. She's like, oh yeah, you you know that. You don't love it because it's good. You love it because it's it. I just love it. I. And that's an interesting thing, too. Of why do I find that show so good? Uh, I think I think part of what I like about HGTV-type programming is the formula that mm-hmm. it all follows. It's like a procedural, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like the same reason I can turn on a Law & Order Criminal Intent. Mm-hmm. That's the best one. Uh, and watch that. Uh, and it's the same reason that, like, I found House so appealing. Mm, you know, it's going to end well. You know, every episode's going to yeah, end but the there's same always, way. Yeah, but there's always a huge problem. What what I think is good about HGTV is instead of a murder, you have a high-stakes arrangement that is non-perilous. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So you have, it's a big deal. It's also very there's interesting no to me, too, like, the, their, their, what they get done for their budgets. Like, yeah. Do you think it's fake? Are the budgets fake? I think the budgets are real. But I think I, they get discounts. Though. I think they get huge. Yeah. Like I think they pay no labor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think they pay no labor. That's their team that comes yeah. around with them everywhere. Oh, that makes some yeah. sense. Yeah. They pay no labor. And just uh, get... Oh God. And the the thing I the thing that kills me about that entire network and the, all the series is that the couples 
are so fucking awful and miserable. And are like, they? I've never seen a couple I wanted to be friends with. Me neither. On or that, that show. you think is gonna last, no. or should be together, or should have ever met each oh other. Oh my god! There was one time we met. Oh, no. We met this family. Yeah. Uh, this. Do you remember? Do you remember the woman who they had gotten a divorce but then got back together? Yeah. <gasps> I love she those was stories. The worst she was woman the I'd ever met in my person. life. What was she like? She was. Uh, I don't. I. I. If I could think of, if I could list on one hand the number of people I would never be in a relationship with, this woman would be like okay. my thumb. It's thumbs. like if she She'd put a thumb. saddle on this guy <laughs> number one. and rode him into the ground. Oh my God, was she was such a bitch. Yeah. Ruining she him. Was like, how, David, how? She was rude to David. She was rude to David, who was just trying to show her houses. What was, I don't what know if they, they, they do this she? on purpose, but the meanness that they have to be, which I'm thinking, I'm guessing that they have oh. to be to the like, to, uh, especially, to the designer, especially Hillary, her. Hillary, Hillary I feel like. I know she's a like crazy witch, but they're so mean to her, and it's not her fault that your fucking house has asbestos, and she no. has to put half it's the money her fault. into fixing it's not your her fault. asbestos problem. It's also not her fault that there's tree roots growing in your place. You probably should have that check before you yeah. bought the fucking house. Deal with it. Don't be mean You're to her. You're having huge structural problems. It's not her fucking fault. Stop it. Sorry she can't give We're you that at heated Allie. floor in the goddamn bathroom. At Allie. I know. <laughs> the heated floor is always I'm what they're sorry. bitching about. I'm sorry. I'm you want sorry. your coat closet to be a fucking bathroom? Oh, I'm sorry. We can't afford to put cedar in your goddamn fur coat closet. Closet. That's that. That was that woman. Do you remember? <laughs> she needed a cedar closet for her goddamn fur coat. She, she had that many bitch. dead pelts. She had, they what were left bitch. her by her grandma. Hillary, I just don't know. I we want we asked you for this and you're not delivering it, yeah. Hillary. I just don't uh, know. And I just think, uh, I just think David has the edge now. Yeah. Like 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 either she of gives a shit. shit. <sighs> like either of like her career depends on any. Oh my like, god. Who, oh, the show. We're just going. And, on. I enjoy it. It's amazing. <laughs> I really right love now, it. Right now, it seems very stressful to watch. <laughs> it's not. It's we should best. have a show of us just yelling at Allie about why the show is good or not. <laughs> and me in, a, in the fetal position cowering, you apologizing do, for your cracked foundation. If you want to do a special, if you want to do a special edition episode of The Slumber Party where we watch an episode of Lover, I was thinking we could do a show called HGTV is a four-letter word, and we just fucking watch HGTV shows. Oh, yell shit, at the I'm on dog. Because I have right now... There's 27 lover lists that's sitting on my DVD. Oh, sure. You're hoarding them. What, oh. about, what about House Hunters? House Hunters, I watch when it's live. I used to record it, but then I found that they repeated episodes oh. a lot. Oh. House Hunters is interesting in and of itself. I always find my problem with House Hunters. Here's my problem with House Hunters. Go. Bring it. What I need to know from their house hunting expedition is their salary. I need to know what oh. they're bringing in. For this oh. to make any sense. Do they not tell you that? No. They just tell you what their budget is. What their budget is. And then they always what go over it. What I would prefer it, to right. know is what they do for a living. Yeah. And how much money they're well, making. For real. It's always more than they can afford. Period. Yeah. It's always. You have to say. If you can afford $700,000 for a house, you have to tell them your budget's five. Because you'll end up at seven. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's and true. not to mention the cost of a home of, of keeping it up. Guys, yearly. Yeah. Or like the changes right? that need to be made when you buy. Anyway. Yeah. I'm in, the pl- I'm in a place where I'm thinking maybe in two years I'll get a house. But watching oh. HGTV makes me think can I, I come don't with you? Want that. I oh, know. you want to get the house? Yeah. Can I? Come? No. I just want to go look at a house. I'm like yeah, now obsessed with this, yeah. with looking at houses. Yeah. I look at houses and I'm like, oh, how much dry rot? Does but that I thing feel have? like oh, I can walk in a room and be like, oh, this is an Alpha concept. I love a lot. We're oh, we're in a, we're in an interesting position being in Los Angeles in that we nothing never, we, we feel house. like we'll never nope, ever never ever, ever nothing ever nothing. I don't want to live in Compton. I pay fourteen hundred a month for a single. We yeah. are in a fourteen. Do you guys know this? Everyone listening, apartment, and it doesn't have like walls. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's great. It's, it's a, a great apartment, apartment, but it's a one. It's a single. Yeah, but it's essentially a single. It's not kind. Of, not even a one bedroom. And I'm over thirty, <laughs> yeah. and all of my relatives yeah. that live in like you know Colorado and Montana We're in our thirties, and we can't. They, oh, they we have can't houses. do it. As We're soon spending... as they graduate high school, they buy houses. You're spending, I'm proud I'm of sure. how little I, I'm spending. Even though my house is kind of shitty, I'm like, I'm only spending. Like, you're, you should be, you brag about how little you spend, not you how much so? you have now. I, I don't think. know. I, but I, in any other city, we would probably own homes. But eh, that's one of those things where when do you decide you're, when do you decide you're a grown up? When, when you, you are, when you have someone, Here's when you're the a double crazy income. part to think about yeah. is like, Shit, I probably man. make every year what Cliff Huxtable was making. As a yeah. Uh, good yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had a brownstone. They I'm had sorry. a fucking brownstone. They had a fucking brownstone. They had steps in Can there, I though. say really quickly? Granted, she was a lawyer. I was just thinking about if I get a dog and it's a girl dog, part of me wants to name her just Claire Huxtable. Just her name <laughs> is Claire Huxtable. Because Claire Huxtable Not was a thing, right. such right. a baller. Do you, what do you Wait, hate? Wait, so what do you much? hate? Yeah, you go first. Georgia, no, you go first. 
Um, okay, I want to tell you this, Allie, and you're going to get mad at me. And you okay. actually brought it up I'm not gonna get mad earlier. Sometimes I debate scientific concepts. Okay, what you're going to debate. Though. You know what I hate? Oh, no. I hate tea. That's okay. Okay. You can fucking I hate tea. I think it's stupid. Do you, you don't have tea? to hate. You don't have I to like tea. tea. Georgia, you don't have to like have tea. Have water or have a coffee. <laughs> you know what's interesting is that my hate, Annoy- is, I try. my hate is also a beverage. But Oh, my God, finish really? Your, finish your tea hate. What do you hate about tea? Tea is... <laughs> A waste of fucking time. Tea is stupid. It doesn't taste good. Well, you're drinking the wrong tea. Oh, you're tea. drinking the wrong tea. I'm not drinking the wrong you tea. You really are drinking the wrong tea. I'm dr- 